Changing lives with a simple haircut. An annual event back on track for the first time since the pandemic. Saida Abbas was there and brings us this inspiring story. It's a problem that often gets overlooked, homelessness. A person is just a paycheck away from being homeless. And if you walk past that person, just think about it. You could be there and they can walk past you. That's Melvin Kelly Jr. He's a veteran who's facing that predicament. Kelly is here at the homeless stand down to get out of his situation, one that would scare anyone, but he's not afraid. Well, they teach you that in the Marine Corps. Never give up and always carry yourself with respect and dignity. The people that are sitting in these chairs getting these haircuts all have different struggles. Some are disabled, others have not eaten in days, and for a lot of them, this is their first step out of homelessness. Waverly Willis is the executive director of the Urban Barber Association. He put all this together. He's been homeless himself in the past and knows exactly what everyone here is going through. If I can do it, you can do it. Don't give up. Don't give up. You know, friends, family members, everybody's going to give up on you possibly. Don't ever give up on yourself. Not just cuts. Caseworkers are on site. Doctors were giving physicals, tests, and foot exams. Thomas Franks told me he finally feels like himself again. I, I, I'm a diabetic, you know. I got a broken leg, broken jaw. You know, it feels good. Free clothing, shoes, and food was also given out. In the end, it's a day to motivate people like Terry Dozier to get out of the darkness and step into the light. Because I'm down and out, and I mean, and I'm trying to make ends meet, so I'm taking advantage of everything I can got coming to me. Reporting at the first energy stadium, Saida Bas, 19 News. The 19